Hey YouTube, welcome to another vlog. I thought in today's vlog I would include how we homeschool on the go. So we're gonna be leaving to our next location. It's not too far, we try not to, well we just started our journey, but our, we plan to not travel more than, I would say like four hours max. There might be some situations where that won't apply. For now, that's kind of what we're doing. Our next destination is about two hours away, so not too far, and we have time while my husband gets everything ready, like you gotta wash the bikes, because for now, we keep them in the toy hauler portion. Um, he has to do a lot of stuff with the RV to you know, get it ready to pack it up. I'm having them do their math, start off with their math, so at least they get like one subject out of the way and see how far we get, and then maybe move on to the next one. And then once we get there and unpack, unload, all that stuff, they can finish off towards the evening. That's the thing with homeschool is that you can kind of homeschool whenever you want. Today is Thursday. This is kind of like our first stop and it got a little bit prolonged. So we're traveling on a Thursday, but we hope to usually travel on the weekends. That way it doesn't really interfere with school. Because once you interfere with homeschool, we're doing a VJU press, it kind of like messes things up and you gotta catch it up and it's just not fun. You can get out of it, or you can do school on Saturday. You know, it's very flexible, but I'm gonna do the bed right now and just get this day started. working on math. I'm gonna go ahead and make them some breakfast. Oh, Louise is over there playing. I forgot I was gonna refill the coffee and then I got distracted. It's literally the story of my life. That first sip, you guys. Felt it was appropriate to wear the Hey Pumpkin sweatshirt. This is actually from my Amazon merch line, which it's not my line. Amazon merch allows you to create designs on certain sweatshirts and t-shirts and stuff. You can basically do whatever you want as long as it doesn't infringe and things like that. So I did this last year and I wish their sweatshirts came in other colors like creams, but they only have like black, gray, navy and something else. So that sucks, but still looks cute on black, I thought, with like the coffee color. Hey, pumpkin. That was very appropriate, but... Um, let me actually go somewhere else because I don't want to interfere with their education. This room doesn't really get a lot of great natural light, even though it has the two windows in the back and this one in the front. It depends on the time of day. Like right now, it's really gloomy out. It's been raining on and off, but I wanted to like sit down and chit chat about our stay here. So this is essentially like an intermittent stay. We sold our house on Friday and then we came here. It's still close to home. My husband drove out twice or so to finish up stuff with like the bank and everything to make sure everything is you know good to go and we're not traveling and you know you come up something comes up so he just wanted to completely finalize it so that's all done so that's kind of why we chose this place this is Tilden Hill in I want to say Verona but I think it's Vernon I always confuse the two Verona Vernon I'm pretty sure it's Vernon like the owner a really cool guy like really nice he owns all of this land. He has a farm. I believe he has beef cattle. One of them tried to escape the other day. <laughs> Some guys came down and helped. My husband called them up and by the time he called them, there were already guys here helping. Um, so he has like a farm of sorts and he owns this and he made trails for mountain bike trails, which my husband actually does like to mountain bike. His brother is really into it and got him into it. He made like some really cool trails. You can walk them. We walked them. There's like seven miles or so of trails and just like an open field. They're like two eights. Like there's a circle like this and the other circle like that and they overlap. And we are right here in the middle. There's like a pond which I showed you guys in the previous vlog. Maybe I'll show snippets right now. And every site has hookups. This is site one. It has hookups like electric water. The dump station is just right around the bend here so we dumped right before we set up camp and we're good on everything like the black tank is fine the one in the kitchen sink started last night like I would um, do the dishes and it would take a while to go down so that's it I like was washing dishes this morning on like dribble mode it was like dribble 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 just so that the sink doesn't fill up like I'm done using that sink if I need to wash anything else it's gonna be in here and the next place that we're going to has I believe it has sewer on the spot so you can wash freely all you want but this one did not you in order to dump i think they call it gray tanks like the water tanks from the kitchen and from the showers and stuff you need to go to the dump station which you would have to pack everything up for 
and nobody wants to do that so we're leaving today anyway so it doesn't matter I'm just having the kids do homeschool before we leave my husband's like packing up everything outside because we have like their bikes the fishing poles doing all that but otherwise this was like a nice intermittent stay where we were able to kind of like let everything sink in moving has just been pretty stressful and right now in retrospect you know it's over and there are people literally in the middle of a hurricane so to put that in perspective like it's not a big deal but everybody deals with things every single day that can be stressful things like that but I'm just saying that for us for me personally it was a bit stressful like you had we had a short time frame to move which got extended um, this was nice to kind of just be able to relax like you're done you sold the house you don't have anything else you just sit here and let everything sink in this was I feel like very necessary and it was great we just had like a very peaceful couple of days didn't really get to do much because it's been raining every single day that we were here like not all the time but throughout the day it would be raining so everything's like wet and muggy can't really go bike riding because just i went bike riding and then there's like mud literally all up his back and i'm like oh great we just did the laundry which my husband brought the laundry to my mom's house did the laundry there i stayed here I totally just realized I forgot to turn on the lights in here. That's why it's kind of so dark. <laughs> anyway, our plan is to kind of travel west, but kind of like southwest-ish. Originally, we wanted to go northwest through like the Dakotas. We'll go um, through like Ohio, the tip of Ohio, I think Illinois, and then go towards Montana, Washington. But because our closing got delayed for about a month, by the time we closed it's already cold like it's raining here it's pretty cold in the nighttime we actually want to go to vermont and maine it's even colder there so we decided to reroute once again and just go like southwest and kind of take it from there we don't have like set plans exactly where we go we just have like a general idea and kind of book a few weeks out at a time so that's kind of where we're at like what's been going on for these past couple of days this week basically hi louise is that your hand when we first came here, everything was like pretty green, but with all those rains in just those couple of days, I've seen such a shift in like the colors changing. It was kind of cool to see like every time I look out the window, you see more and more leaves changing colors. So if you ever want like a beautiful fall, Vermont, we went there. My brother-in-law invited us there last year. I think we went to Bennington, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was Bennington gorgeous but you have to go in october and then same with like new york and rondex gorgeous falls but you'd have to go later towards either the end of september or beginning of october and it's like prime time i would say by mid-october like that's it we're gonna go for a walk right now but i wanted to show the property real quick i included a bit in the previous vlog but this is our spot spot number one has the full hookups and then you can you kind of enter through there there's an entrance through there this little um, that's not like a shed, it's bigger than a shed, but this little house right here, that's where they have recyclables, trash. There's a few porta potties on the property that we noticed, and then we kind of pulled in, went around. This is a little pond, it's actually gorgeous because the sun sets here, so in the evenings it really is gorgeous. There's like a station there where you can wash your bikes. I don't know if you guys can see it, there's quite a few bike riders going through, and then the trails go all the way over there. There's a lot of trails in the actual woods, and then you go around. We pulled in here for our spot, but the first time around we pulled up there. Dump station is right there, so dumped everything. And then went all the way back around, and then second time pulled in through here. So very easy parking, obviously. <laughs> this is like probably the biggest pull through we will ever experience. Well, who knows? Um, and then there are a few spots over there on both sides. There's two there, two there. Uh, there might be some there, I'm not sure. This is kind of the property. The leaves are changing color slowly. Tons of trails in there, like I said, for walking. A few bodies of water i'm not sure if they're ponds or what man-made ponds seems like they are kids went fishing just i caught a fish the other day so that was really fun it's actually a pretty big fish so really nice really peaceful very very spaced out if you are like traveling i know a lot of people he mentioned i think come here on their way to like maine and stuff like that so if you are coming to coming through this area i would highly recommend it the owner is absolutely amazing really great really nice guy so stop in here this is Tilden Hill Farm and I believe it's Vernon like I want to say Verona but I think it's Vernon Dean with his fishing boots he's so proud of them <laughs> for hiking because it's been so muddy here but I'm loving you can't really tell on camera but there's so many like the tips of the leaves are changing color and it's just so pretty I'm about to leave 
already packing Come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for Location. This is Clute Memorial National Park, something of the sorts. The Finger Lake is right across there. We're going to be here for a few days for the weekend. By the time this video goes up, we'll be out of here. But I'm actually kind of scared to open things up because we had quite a rocky travel coming in here. Table even moved a little bit. I have a feeling I'm going to open the fridge and all the stuff is just going to like literally fall out. And, oh, we got some cheese. What else? Something fell. That's the yogurt. And then the other thing that I'm worried about are the glasses. And it really, they kind of slide. Yep, something's gonna fall. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta find a little bit of a better system for this. Cause they kind of slide around a bit in here. I mean, they stay secure. Just like a little bit of sliding, which isn't too bad. I might put them in like little baskets, kind of like this since these are the main ones that slide, but everything else here is pretty secure because of the lip. I'm gonna go ahead and open the slides. Unlock. Let's pull it out. We're all settled in essentially. My husband's, I think, hooking up to the hookups and he has to hang up the chandelier take out the bikes and that's about it stuff definitely shifted a lot more during this trip we wanted to avoid tolls to avoid 90 and it took us like through i think it was Cortland, ithaca like straight straight up downtown and the hit it was like pretty hilly and a lot of bumps and stuff so stuff shifted a lot like the medicine cabinet um in the bathrooms Definitely, even in the closets, like the jeans and stuff, they moved. Like I opened the closet and the jeans are like falling on top of me. So this was a little bumpier than our usual trips. But otherwise, you know, everything's fine. As long as it's safe and nothing broke, cracked, whatever. But we're really excited to explore Watkins Glen. We've been wanting to go here for quite some time. You can kind of see the water right there. And I'll probably do a vlog of our uh, staying here for the weekend. Our 12 year wedding anniversary is on Sunday. We're actually gonna be heading out on Sunday. But we're gonna stay here for the weekend. And just cause we've always wanted to visit Watkins Glen on our way out of New York. And this might be our last stop in New York. I'm gonna have the kids play for a little bit and then have them do homeschool. And that is our first trip onto our second and onto our fun adventure. So I think I'm gonna finish the video here. Otherwise I'll probably wait too long and start the next vlog 
tomorrow morning so i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out and following along with our journey thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in future videos